Uh, you know, they have a freshman, Morgan Jones, that's uh, very talented, so we have to keep her in check. But their fours and fives um, are the big threat because they can score down low and shoot the three. So uh, we have to do a good job attacking them one and then obviously defending them. I know that you never look ahead to another game at all, but just collectively sharing how big of a stretch is this two-game uh, swing where obviously it's a shorter turnaround than, than normal in conference play. Uh, any, any game's big. You know, Northwestern's all that we're worried about right now, and uh, we'll focus on, uh, you know, Iowa the next game, but we can't look ahead whatsoever. Just you, you had a couple instances of an on-conference where you played these games, mm -hmm. but just do you feel like that's a good preparation for, for the two games in three days? Yeah, I think um, especially, you know, um, what we did when we had to go to Cancun, you know, mm -hmm. playing back to back and playing as many games in such a short time, and you had to, you know, you traveled to Cancun on Wednesday and you played two games in a row, right. and, you know, you, so you know we're prepared for that, but still, it's Big Ten, it's totally different, uh, total mindset, and you've already played a team, you know, already once, you know, and um, it's different. Uh, actually, I think it's kind of great that we're together for four straight days. Um, you don't ever get that unless you go to, you know, a Thanksgiving trip. So, um, you know, hopefully it'll bode well for us. I mean, our defense just has to continue with what it is. I mean, we have to pressure the basketball. Um, uh, for them, we have to take away the three-point shot with their bigs, which is the four and the five. So that's a little different than what we've had to go against uh, before. Um, and we have to rebound well and be able to run and, and score points. But we're, we're just going to play defense like we normally do. Everything we went through last year, um, Coach V always told us last year that all this adversity, something good is going to come out of it. And uh, the other day, I was out to breakfast with uh, some teammates, and we were just talking about how we looked at, the uh, at our schedule and saw our um, record and that we had won 17 games and just flying by, and we can't believe that we're off to such a good start. Now you've got a, a couple of tough games coming up this week, road trips to Northwestern Iowa. Uh, what do you know about the Wildcats, first of all? Um, we're checking them out at practice today, so we had a day off yesterday, so we haven't really got into it yet, but it's nice to have a little vacation in January. We'll be gone until Saturday. We haven't played Northwestern, um, but usually Northwestern, they always play great against us. Uh, we always have good crowds up there. We usually end up having more fans than they do, so that always helps us out. But and then we have Iowa Saturday, and we played Iowa. Um, it was a really close game. We were up by, I think, like 15 at the half, and they came back on us, and it was a really, really a stressful game at the end, but um, we ended up pulling it out, so. Does it help at all seeing something for the second time like this? Uh, it definitely helps. Um, it'd be nice to play everybody one time, but the second time around, you really just have to key in on every, every play matters, every um, defensive stop, you have to get those stops, and offensively, you just have to execute, and you can't. Um, they're going to know what we're doing. We know what they're doing, so it just comes down to execution. Northwestern's a really scrappy team. They play hard. Um, we're going to definitely have to bring our A game. We're going to have to pay attention to practice, um, do what's on the scouting report, and we should be fine. It's a weird place to play. I mean, it's, it's a little different up there. It's not the best place to play. Um, so, you know, we have to bring a lot of energy um, from within the coaches and within um, each other and the team. Um, a lot of energy and excitement is going to be needed to play at Northwestern. You know, was saying it's kind of nice. Uh, a lot of times, Purdue fans outnumber Northwestern fans up there. Is that, uh, does that help? Oh yeah, um, and we have the best fans in the country, so it, it's always helpful when um, you can out outnumber the opposing team's fans. Um, they're loud. We we get excitement and momentum from them. So. Then you turn around quickly, mm -hmm. go to Iowa, Iowa City to play the Hawkeyes for mm -hmm. the second time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you get uh, like when you have that sort of quick turnaround? Um, personally, I, I like it because um, the team's fresh in my mind. Um, you know, we're just going to have to buckle down. Iowa is a very, very good team, and especially when they're at home. Um, we're going to have to really pay attention to detail. We're, we're fresh with Iowa in our head, but it's just the little things that we need to clean up from the last game. You guys really hot start in conference. The season's going very well right now. Did you see this coming a little bit? You know, um, with the hard work and um, everything we've put in, it doesn't surprise me that we are where we are at right now. Um, and the great thing is, is that we work and we continue to get better every day, which is awesome, which is only going to make us better.